Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of All Things IDA. Today we're gonna talk about the VVSEC library which I discovered uh, accidentally when I was looking at the Mandiant Floss plugin and uh, was curious uh, how it works uh, didn't dig deep into how it works in particular but what caught my attention mainly is that uh, it does use uh, the VVSect framework which I wasn't familiar with so I went and uh, I looked at the documentation and so on and, and so what it does of course I'm just starting to learn about it but I got this nice idea where uh, what if we can write uh, either Python scripts and use uh, VVSect framework to uh, do those uh, functionalities in either Python scripts? And that's where uh, VVIDA got created. So VVIDA is aiming at uh, creating those small wrappers around uh, VVSect. So slowly with time and maybe if there is enough interest uh, hopefully we can port a big chunk of vvsect to vvida all right uh, let's get started so real quick what's uh, vvsect so it says it's a compiled disassemble static analysis symbolic execution and debugger framework just quickly going over its functionality uh, programmatically speaking so these are the UI stuff but from a developer point of view for example it uh, it shows how it's organized the disassembly and emulation engines file format parsers uh, windowing tracer vulnerability debugger code so these there is a lot of things to explore there uh, if there's interest, uh, maybe I dig deep and uh, emulate more and more map to IDA. So uh, just quickly, for example, we want to analyze a file. All we have to do, import the library, create a workspace, and for example, uh, load the file and analyze it. Once we have the analysis, now we can uh, run other methods on the workspace object. Other things like uh, retrieve the imports, give me the exports, enumerate functions. Now for every function, we can query the function name, a function type. We have also function uh, metadata dictionary. It has a bunch of uh, metadata, for example, how big is the function, how many basic blocks, instruction count, and the uh, mnemonic distribution and the function. So here get function meta, we give it uh, the function address and we ask for which part, which metadata, for example here the mnemonic distribution and we got that information. Function graph is similar to IDA as we'll see in future videos. We have uh, the uh, QFlowChart class that can give us similar information and so on. Uh, um, VVSEC also support loading uh, just binary files and if we specify a binary file we have to help that framework to know where to start the analysis so it can recursively start analyzing and uh, um, exploring making functions and so on uh, get fun get segments memory maps there's so many functions uh, to look at one thing we notice here uh, first thing it says yeah it's not IDA the workspace is the core basically as per the documentation it is the heart of this framework so most of the things of most of the methods we can do exist here for example get emulator uh, get comments uh, set comments and so on add uh, analysis module so it's a large library uh, as a large framework I'm still learning how to use Let's try uh, from the command line. So from the command line, it comes with vivbin uh, scripts we can use to uh, analyze something. For example, uh, I'm going to analyze uh, wismo64.exe. And uh, that will basically load and analyze and uh, 
it will also open a UI element here which is optional but that's uh, the UI uh, that it ships with for example so most of the APIs in this framework require workspace uh, arguments as opposed to IDA which assumes it's a single database API set so when we issue an API in uh, API call in IDA it supposes a single context which is the current database so here for example we can go to the view see how familiar this the view menu is and so on so let's say view functions and we have a list of functions and those functions we can programmatically retrieve and so on um, we can sort the functions by address for example uh, we can uh, right click and uh, display the function we can see the local variables the arguments and, and so on and so on we can add comments, rename it. So let's add a comment here. This is a main. Right click, rename to main, for example. Uh, we can also check the call graph function, call graph, for example. And this basically starts exploring it from the invocation point and we can explore and see before and after and see the function calls and so on so uh, this is basically the ui of the framework but uh, as we said we can uh, we can use the framework programmatically so for example here if we're doing it standalone we simply import uh, the library we can let's say load from FD or load from file doesn't matter but we we load it, it took close to one second and this is this is equivalent to another database so here if you look at the file system uh, wismo 64.vib for example uh, get imports for example I'm just simply len of get imports uh, we can uh, see what we get there's so many other functions we can do. Let's uh, talk about Vivida now, the, the wrapper on top of it. So um, the, the whole idea is to mimic all the existing modules so that uh, some scripts, either Python script, sh should work. Now, of course, this is a work in progress, but I did some basic stuff as, as much as I can uh, in this uh, weekend. Uh, but there's a lot of work uh, to be done so here's a simple script let's say list functions the usual suspects um, for example enumerating functions here we have uh, the basic uh, ida utils loop get the function starting address then get the function object get some bytes at this function start and display some basic uh, function information if I switch to IDA and run the same Vivida script, or basically it's an IDA Python script, I get the output in IDA. Now, depending on the analysis, for example, IDA found uh, 96 uh, functions. If we drop here to the command line and uh, run Vivida instead, it uh, takes a similar to some degree uh, command line switches like the IDA command line switches not a hundred percent but like the minus s so I'm gonna run the examples list funks IDA Python script so let's see how that works so here uh, vvsect found only 93 functions compared to IDA but to, to a higher degree, the logic is the same. Uh, VVSEC does not uh, have certain assumptions such as sorted, uh, sorted functions and so on. So we get them most likely uh, in the order of discovery how the analysis module uh, discovered those uh, functions. So that's it for today. I hope you found uh, VVSEC useful. Uh, uh, thanks a lot for the VVSect authors uh, and also 
uh, good work for uh, the guys behind uh, Flare uh, Floss in particular. Uh, I will be dedicating a couple episodes maybe in the future, just a uh, deeper dive how it works and so on. Um, so that's it for now and uh, I'll see you next time.